Tonight, the drama surrounding Republican politics in Bonneville County continues. Some lawmakers are being questioned about their voting record during this year's legislative session. Stephanie Lucas has more from those meetings. It was a packed town hall meeting in Idaho Falls Thursday. Bonneville County lawmakers, already under fire from local Republican committees, answered written questions from area voters. The topics range from controversial library materials to teacher shortages. I don't support porn in the library. However, um, I did not support Bill 314, the library bill, and I was very specific about that because we are punishing librarians that are standing at a counter. But the constituents we spoke to said there were questions left unanswered. The legislators answered the questions that they were asked fairly well, but I don't think that they were asked the main questions that people came here to find out about, why they're being recalled or sanctioned by the Republican Party. Special investigative committees have been formed by Republicans in legislative districts 32 and 33. They are calling on the lawmakers to answer for alleged violations of the state Republican Party platform. The first round of committee hearings were held Tuesday. While there's a myriad of accusations, some specific issues include Representative Wendy Horman's voting for House Bill 138 to consolidate the March presidential primary election with the May primary election. It was six days after I voted that I received an email saying the state opposed that bill. I didn't know that. Voting against House Bill 314, the School and Library Protection Act by Representative Mickelson, and voting for the Idaho Launch Grant by Senator Kevin Cook. Well, I'm excited about the launch program. I, I think you'll see some great things come out of it. Three more legislators, this time from District 33 committees, have had their records questioned. Two of them, Marco Erickson and Dave Lent, were at Thursday's meeting. The often standing room only meeting resonated well with attendees. And I would like to see this happen on a regular basis. The legislators appreciated the large turnout as well. And the fact that each of you have come here tonight tells me you care, or you wouldn't come out here on a cold, windy night. Some lingering questions remain. Well, it's great to see the turnout here and so many people show up. Uh, there has been a little movement on reducing taxes, but unfortunately, we didn't get to hear about how the Idaho budget has grown so much under a supposedly conservative legislature. But some things could have been answered better. I would like to have some more answers to that. What specific bills they voted on to get him in the hot water that they're in. Granted, everybody didn't have a, an opportunity to express their own questions and so forth, but at least we were able to hear some responses to questions which gave us a feel for where they are and perhaps what their challenges are. Like, if you reach out to any of those legislators personally, that they will answer you? I think that you'll get a canned answer. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Stephanie Lucas.